Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Shao Long versus Cheng Ho Li. Um, it's a pretty interesting matchup. A couple shakeups in this on this card for the UFC, UFC sphere. <laughs> weird, weird pronunciation. But again, should be a decent matchup in this one. This card overall thoughts, I'll give that at the end when we talk about uh, Whitaker and Aliskarov. First, again, like I said, Shao Long versus Cheng Ho Li. Shao Long, 26 wins, 8 losses, 4 and 1 in his last 5 fights. Minus 120 right now. I suspect those odds to go probably a little up. 26 years old, 5'8 with a 70 inch reach. Fighting Cheng Ho Li, who's 9 and 1, 4 and 1 in his last 5. His one loss was 2 years ago against Sim Kai Zhang. Jesus, what a name. Plus 100, 30 years old. 5'8 with a 69 inch reach, one inch reach advantage for um, Long. So, again, Long, like I said, with what, 34 professional fights at only 26 years old, pretty crazy if you ask me. 13 finishes, has been finished three times in his career by punches. Now, the last time that had happened was all the way back in 2017. Since then, he has not been finished. Lost a couple uh, decisions, but well, since actually, since 2021, he's on a nice, nice win streak and four wins. But I mean, that's, I mean, four years he's fought one, two, three, four times. Three years, I'm sorry, three years he's fought four times. That's not great. This, this matchup has also been announced a few times. It was actually supposed to take. Um, it was also supposed to be on the uh, uh, Song Yadong card, Chris Gutierrez. That was canceled. And then it was supposed to be, uh, again, on the uh, Road to the UFC Las Vegas. It was on, supposed to be on that tournament show for the uh, Road to UFC. Also didn't happen. Now it happens four months later and on this UFC Shavir card. So, again, I really, really like this matchup. Nine wins by submission, four by TKO KO. The one thing that does worry me a little bit with Long is he is the opponents that he's fought. It's a little, a little deceiving because like he fought Christian Quineras, who sixteen three has been great in the UFC, but still a decent fighter. Lost to him by decision, like a tender series. You know, fought um, another guy, lost to him. He's one and four. Lost to another guy's nine and eight, three and two, three and zero, oh, one and two, zero oh and zero, oh, five and three. Those were his losses. His wins, what's his best win? 11 and 6 there. Um, 7 and 3 there. Uh, 10 and 3. 13 and 1 is his best win, and that was a majority win. So that record at 26 and 8, a little deceiving. A lot of the big tests that he's had, he hasn't really succeeded in, I would say personally. Um, you know, and then uh, Cheng Ho Li, who has seven finishes, like I said, 9 and 1. Four TKOs, two submissions, only one decision, or Jesus, three decisions, one loss by decision. He's fought a little bit of better competition. You know, a guy 8 and 4, 11 and 1, 7 and 0, and he's doing these things decisively well. Fought twice on road to UFC. So, with that being said, I think Ching Ho Lee wins this matchup. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a finish with punches because his style is very, very good. Good ground and pound. He had two of, actually three wins in a row by ground and pound. I like his striking. I like the way he looks. I like how explosive he is at times. So his power is something to be held, to be talked about really. Um, I think he gets the job done. I think he looks very well in this coming upcoming matchup. I like him to win it. If you guys agree, even if you guys disagree, let's talk about it down there in the comment section. Let me know what you guys are thinking and we'll talk about it. As always, peace.